In today's episode, we're showing you all the best places to camp near Page, Arizona, so that you can visit, stay, and check out all the places that we told you about in the last episode. In case you missed that, you should go back and check it out so that you understand why we say you have to come here. Number one is Beehive's Campground. The Beehive's Campground is just outside of Page, past the Glen Canyon Dam. It's a small little campground that only has six designated sites, but the sites are pretty big and you get really great views of Lake Powell. There are no reservations, no hookups, no dump station, no trash containers, and no restrooms. It's $14 a night, and there is a three night limit, which is a little bit different than what we've encountered in the past, but it also means that sites open up frequently and it's not that hard to get in. There's a hike right behind the campground called the New Wave, which we showed you last week that is amazing. So this is the perfect spot to check out that hike and we highly recommend it. You can see behind us here is the Beehive Campground that we stayed in and zoom. <laughs> right behind us is the trailhead for the new wave. Number two is Lone Rock Beach Primitive Camping Area. Camping at Lone Rock Beach is right on the sandy beach or in the dunes just across the border in Utah. There are no reservations or designated sites. So once you pay your admission fee or show your pass, you just find a spot that works for your rig and you're comfortable with. <laughs> and we say that you're comfortable with because the further down towards the beach you go, the sandier it gets, the less packed the surface gets. Um, so it's really up to you how far down you wanna go. You can park on the upper level, which is the best bet if you're at all uncomfortable or worried. Um, you could park there and walk down to check it out or just stay there. There are great views of Lone Rock from up there, of the beach, um, or continue further down and you can park further back or right up against the sandy ledge um, it continues even further down past that. Um, we stayed further back. It just gave us more room around our rig for, you know, personal space. And we still had a great view from there. But we did spend one night right on that edge. And though it was beautiful, we felt like it was sandier, <laughs> it was windier, and you had neighbors on either side. So it's up to you. It, it's nice. You can park wherever you want. We drove our four-wheel drive truck down to the beach a few times to go paddleboarding, but even with a four-wheel drive truck, we still had to be careful in places. Some brave souls towed their rigs all the way down to the beach, but they were in much smaller and much lighter rigs than ours. And full disclosure, we did see at least a couple people get stuck. Yeah. So it is possible. You do need to be careful and cautious and aware. Um, but both of those eventually made their way out of there and Kevin actually helped out with one of those situations. Someone has gotten stuck, but Kevin is over there. Let's wish them luck. From this distance, the new plan to me looks like our truck is going to uh, maybe give it a little pull backwards. RV is moving under its own power. Yeah, they're on the main road again. Good, good, good. So that was exciting. That's probably the third rig now we've seen get stuck in the sand out here because it is, it's awfully soft sand in some places. We saw them get stuck and we'd seen other people get stuck and eventually get out too. And then we saw one other truck go over there and get some straps out and try to get them out and it was unsuccessful. I was out there, we we're getting ready to go out for the day and I saw him still out there, still shoveling. Nobody else was out there. I said, well, let's go see if there's something I can do. Then I realized they had dug themselves all the way down to the frame wow. of that rental RV. It was just down in the sand. So there was almost no hope of being able to actually dig them out. Thankfully, then somebody showed up with a Jeep who had some straps and 
I happen to have the biggest truck that was around. I think <laughs> so you got nominated? <laughs> I got nominated. <laughs> I think somebody had tried before to pull them out in the front way, but there was nothing there was nothing to attach to on the front of that rental RV unless you wanted to like tear a bumper off, which Ooh, you know, nobody no. wants to do that. So we I have tow hooks in the front of our truck, so we strapped it onto their trailer hitch in the back and pulled them out backwards. And it worked. It worked. I ended up pulling them far enough back that they were back on the packed sand and then could take an alternate way out. And it all worked, but just glad we could help. Lone Rock is beautiful. Be very careful of the sand. It's a beautiful place and we highly recommend it. Just know it'll be sandy, it'll be windy. It's good to look at the weather forecast and see what the wind forecast is so you know if you want to be out and about in the morning or in the afternoon, but bring your kayaks, paddle boards, swimsuits, because it's just so much fun. Number three is Waweep Campground and RV Park. The Waweep RV Park has various types of sites. No hookups, full hookups, tent camping, group camping, you name it pretty much. What we ended up paying was $68 a night, which was a bit high for us. Quite a bit high for us. Yeah. But we'd been doing a lot of boondocking, so we took full advantage of the full hookups to wash everything, refill, restock, reset, so that we could go out and do even more boondocking. Of course, a place like this has more facilities and more amenities. You do have to pay the park admission or show your park pass here as well. But the views at Waweep in general are amazing. So even if you're not staying in the campground, we'd recommend you come to Waweep one day and just check it out. See the views of Lake Powell, go to the resort or the restaurant, the marina, the picnic area, the swim beach. There's lots to do. All right, we are walking down to the swim beach here at Waweep. It's a gorgeous, warm, breezy day, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna go enjoy it for a little while. Goes downhill quite a ways. We're gonna, we're gonna need to eat a lot of those snacks so you don't have to haul that bag all the way back up. I know, I, I intend to haul more of them here on the way back up. <laughs> It's a really nice spot down here by the water. It was a longer walk than expected. <laughs> yeah. And the walk back is uphill, but it's worth it to come down here. We're just enjoying this gorgeous view. Amazing. Even better than from up there. Yeah, for sure. If you stayed at the RV park up the hill, you would have this right at your doorstep. is Antelope Point Marina RV Park. The RV park at Antelope Point Marina has over a hundred spots. They're all full hookup. They've got pull-throughs and back ends and the back ends seem to cost about $70 a night and the pull-throughs are $80 a night and they have amazing views all around. This puts you incredibly close to the amazing Antelope Canyon and that is something you must see when the tours reopen. You can take a tour or Right now, even, you can put a boat in the water here or rent one from the marina if you want to check it out yourself by boat. So definitely come here. And even if you can't go to Antelope Canyon, at least take a walk down to the water because that's beautiful as well. Bonus, Glen Canyon Dam parking area. If you're somehow unlucky in finding another spot for the night, there is this great big gravel lot by the Glen Canyon Dam Bridge. There's lots of space, but keep in mind that we did see some big rig trucks here idling their engines. And I don't know if they do that all night, but it is something to keep in mind. 
Another bonus place to stay, Walmart. There is a Walmart in town, which is another popular option for an easy overnight. Every time we drove by the Walmart, we saw several RVs there and they tended to park in the back left corner of the lot if you're facing the store. So easy place to park. You can restock on your essentials uh, and they even had free, pretty strong Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi was no joke. It was probably the <laughs> fastest open wi-fi spot i've ever found anywhere that just had to be mentioned <laughs> for any of these places that don't have a dump station be aware that there is a maverick gas station right next to the walmart in page that has a free dump station there so you can go pick up some fuel dump your tanks fill your water and be on your way it also kind of smells like a hot porta potty right here which is not so great but hey it's free it's not always a glorious job, but it's definitely a necessary one. Number five is Lee's Ferry Campground. Lee's Ferry Campground is a bit further away at about 50 minutes over the mountain in Marble Canyon. It has 54 sites, no reservations. It's all first come, first served. There's also no hookups, but they do have a dump station on site. A word of caution though, the water hose there didn't have an adapter so we couldn't connect it to any of our hoses and we don't have a gravity fill on our RV, unfortunately. <laughs> so Kevin had to hold the two hoses together through a water flow meter to make it work. It was a bear. And he still got a bit wet. And a ranger came by and told us they used to have an adapter, but the ones they had there kept getting stolen. It's also worth mentioning that one of the times we were at the gas station in Page that we had mentioned earlier, we did run into an RVer that was staying in this campground and he said that the dump station there was overflowing. So he had to make the commute all the way over the mountain to dump his tanks and return to his site. That's a little bit out of the way. Right. There's a 14 day limit and each site costs $20 a night. You also have the park admission itself, or again, you can show your park pass, but Lee's Ferry Campground is near so many things to see and do, which is actually what we're gonna show you in next week's video. Final bonus, Soap Creek Dispersed Camping. If Lee's Ferry Campground is full like it was for us, you do have boondocking options nearby. A ranger told us that if you go just a mile past the Marble Canyon Lodge, there are several pullouts on the side of the highway that you can stay the night and then try again in the morning, or you could just stay there for the full 14 day limit. We went a bit further down the road to the Soap Creek Dispersed Camping Area. Be careful of the big dip coming off the highway for this too, and make sure that you close the gate behind you. We stayed at the first spot on the left, which was nice and big. It, then it continues on to a fork, and if you go left, it gets quite a bit rockier and not really something we were gonna take our rig down. But if you have a van or something similar that can handle that kind of terrain or you're willing to take on that kind of terrain, the view from the rim and the camping spots down there were amazing. And either way, if you're out there, you should find a way to drive, hike, or bike down there and check it out because it was just beautiful. In fact, we're going to do a quick YouTube Shorts video on that because one night we did bike out there as a family and check it out. The right fork goes immediately to a weather station, we think, but there are more boondocking sites there and that road also continues to even more boondocking. Thanks for watching. I hope this gives you some options for places to stay in and around Page because you really should see it. We hope you come back next week where we'll show you the area around our last camping area, Lee's Ferry. We hike Cathedral Wash, dip our feet in the mighty Colorado River at Pariah Beach, and walk the Navajo Bridge. See you then! If you like our content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified the next time we release a travel video. Beehives Campground. <laughs> what? I'm gonna try and figure out what this place is actually called. Soap Creek Dispersed Camping? Yeah. Okay. Tent camping group 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 <laughs> <laughs> group of poop boop boop camping. Let's say that. Another bonus. 
Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> You're not ready. <laughs> no, I'm not ready.